getting involved in the center, I was um, an intolerable pain. I would live at a normal level 7 pain to 8 pain every day. Um, usually several times a day going into a 10 mode where actually in tears and going out in my mind in pain. I was taking um, morphine liquid morphine, pills, morphine, I was taking, uh, you remember the FM and the variable? Uh -huh. That's what you do. Methadone. So it's just a, a process. Methadone for the pain. 55, and whole protein. Although the help that I got from it helped a bit to bring it to a tolerable range, it wasn't making me any better. That's for sure. And, uh, I couldn't walk standing up straight. I was all bent over. I would walk with a cane, crutches, a wheelchair when I have to. But since getting involved with the, the scanner now, I can walk, I can walk standing up. The pain is more tolerable without the heavy medication. I'm learning on a level one right now. And, uh, a lot of this I taught myself out of the book, and I've been doing it to myself, and it's worked tremendously for the pain. And I've learned a lot. I'm amazed. I'm amazed, and I'm, I'm so happy to be able to find it, and, and that this is available to people today. But I wouldn't. I'd hate to have to live without it again. I mean, uh, if somebody said they wanted to take a little machine away, they'd have to kill me to get it from me. <laughs> I wouldn't give it up. So what did you do? You had an accident? Uh, when I was about five years old, I was playing um, leapfrog with my auntie, and she slipped on a dryer sheet on the linoleum floor and uh, landed on my head, and I've had a problem with my neck. Great and this part of my neck. Can you feel that? Not too much. Um, I can feel it. It's not. It doesn't hurt. Doesn't anything. hurt. Okay. So what's your pain? So what's your pain levels every day? Um, out of ten. Out of ten. Yeah. Um. It, well, it gets worse every day. It depends on how I sleep. Um, some days I could say it could be an eight. Some days it's about a three. Okay. But usually every day. But you do it every day most of the time. Yeah. 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 Do you sleep well or not? Um, not lately. Not in the last two months, really. Now move this one and tell me how that one goes. It feels really good. I feel very loose. Yeah. Like I just had a but like I just had a massage for like yeah. two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so move your arms and comes back a bit. taken a couple of high falls on my knees, approximately 30 feet. Uh, also had an automobile accident in 1984, which caused complications. I had trouble with, uh, my knees were very painful and degeneration and was happening inside of there. The, the ligaments were getting swollen. My knees were twice the size they should have. So I came to see how CNR would work on these kinds of problems. And miraculously, in three to four weeks, my knees look almost normal and my pain's down almost nil from where it was before. It was, I was very uncomfortable, couldn't sleep nights, you know, things like that. How did this impact uh, the work that you did? Well, it's tough getting up and down ladders and getting on equipment. And my job, I'm a locomotive engineer and I have to be able to get up and down the equipment. And if you can't bend your knees, you can't get up and down the equipment. So, did you look at any other treatments for this, uh, for these ailments? Well, I went to a knee doctor. The knee doctor said I had to have my knees replaced. Really? And I said, well, I'm not ready for that just yet. So I wanted to find out what else we could do to build 
you know, cartilage material time before I have to have a knee replacement. So not only did you save the cost of a knee replacement, the pain of the surgery, but you were able to improve the quality of your life. I guess overuse for, from running. I'm a triathlete and um, the pain had become pretty much unbearable um, to the point where I, I couldn't really walk, much less run. So I stopped running and thought, well, I hope this will just go away by stopping running. And that, um, that didn't do the trick. And it was really frustrated and disappointed. So um, I went to see Kathleen to deal with the pain in my foot. And um, right away, I, I saw her session, um, she told me about this NR and started to work with my foot. Um, she actually, as a chiropractor, did some adjustments and did some other things, and I just was like, would you just look at my foot? And so then she, she gave attention to my foot with the Sanar machine, mm -hmm. and I noticed some improvement. I saw her twice in one week, and within that period of time, the first week, I felt immediate improvement, probably like 50 to uh, what Kathleen was able to do for you yesterday. Well, something completely unacceptable was surgery to reattach my abdominal muscles. I mean, the abdominals are like this, the abdominal wall actually split, and so they were going to operate to close it again, but I was told that it would actually weaken the muscle. It would be aesthetically more pleasing, maybe, because there wouldn't be a gully there, but um, although I would have a flat closed stomach, um, it would be weaker. And as an athlete, I didn't want a weakened muscle. I wanted, I wanted it what it used to be, but since I had a child, it was torn. I just dealt with um, what I had. And I wasn't willing to have surgery. I wasn't ever gonna have surgery. It was just gonna be that way. I figured forever until I had this treatment. And um, it looks great. I almost wanna show you, but I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> but, uh, I came home after being here for several hours and having work on my abdominals and my foot and also my meridians. I mean, when I walked in, I saw Darren when I came home from here, he said, you look different. And I, I felt different. And so other people mm. said I looked more like me. He just said, like, what happened to you today? And so I said mm -hmm. to him that I wanted to, him to come and, and, and see and experience it too.